So on the exam, and I mean in general, you're often given a formula and then told to apply it. What do I mean by applying it? They would say something like S equals 2. Then they would ask, what's the surface area and volume of a cube where S equals 2? What is S? It's a side. That's why this S is right here. Remember, a cube is special because every single side is the same length. Think of a cube that you would roll. If one side was too long, the cube would not be fair. It, and you roll it, it would lean towards one side. Now, that being said, S is 2. The surface area, well, surface area is a measurement of how much surface there is. So it's a literal definition in a word. It's saying, well, a cube has six, these are called faces. Just like a number die has six sides and they're all numbered. If you were to perhaps paint or wrap paper around this cube and fit it exactly, how, how much would it take? And we call this uh, square units because literally, like with, with wrapping paper for example, you're measuring how many square feet of wrapping paper you have because how many squares would cover the surface. Take that wrapping paper, wrap it around the cube, and you've got surface area. So here's the formula 6s squared. Well, <clears throat> first of all, the reason this works is because there are six faces, and each face has an area of one side times the other. That's because each face is a square that looks something like this, s times s. That's what one face is. S times S is S squared, and there are six faces. <coughs> so if the surface area is 2, be very careful here. What you do is 6 times, and then this S squared means 2 squared. Put that in parentheses. The most common mistake is to do 6 times 2 and then square it, raise to the second power. But in fact, the order of operations applies to this first. So 2 squared is 4. So this is in fact 6 times 4, and the surface area could be something like 24 square feet, or square inches. Again, be careful that you don't do 6 times 2 and then raise the second power, you get 144, and that's incorrect. Now value, volume <coughs> is in cubic units. So when you're finding the volume, you're finding out how much could I fill in this cube, and you're actually finding how many cubes would fit in it. So, it's s to the third power because you're multiplying length times width times height. But remember, the length is a side. Let's say this is the length right here. The width is also a side, and the height is a side. So it's really just a side times a side times a side. <clears throat> and that, in this case, is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And let's say cubic feet. That's the idea of a cube. And you'll be giving this given these formulas to work on. Another shape that you're asked to think about is the circular cylinder and R is for radius and H is for height. These are important because look at the formulas that's really the only variables they're giving you are radiuses and heights. So the surface area 2 pi R H plus 2 pi R squared well the way we break this formula down, 2 pi r squared, think about it, um, pi r squared as the area of one circle. So the surface area has two circles. That's why a 2 is there. There's one on top and one on bottom. And in this middle part right here, I picture um, to find the exact distance to cover that middle part from up from here all the way up, it's kind of like this ring being dragged up. And that ring when you drag it up is actually the circumference of the circle on the bottom and that's this part of the formula right here the circumference times the height is how big this lateral surface or middle surface is so we're adding these two parts together the two circles two times the area of the circles bottom and top and the circumference times the height so let's say we're given a height of three and a radius of 2. <coughs> when this happens, we uh, can apply it in the formula. So 2 times pi 
times r, which is 2, times height, which is 3, plus 2 times pi times r squared, which is, excuse me, 2. So again, be careful when you have the exponent. Deal with that first. It's 4 times pi times 2 plus 6 times 2 times pi. We can go a little bit further, multiply the numbers. So this becomes 12 times pi plus 8 times pi. Now this you can actually combine. It relates back to the idea if you have something like 12x plus 8x. 12x's and 8x's gives you 20x's. Here we have 12 pi's plus 8 pi's, so you have 20 pi's. So if we wanted to leave the answer in terms of pi, we could stop here. Or we could estimate pi to some place value. If I asked you to round pi, use 3. So this answer could also be written as 60, I don't know, square feet, if we were dealing with feet. Because remember, this is surface area. And surface area deals with squares. Volume, on the other hand, um, the idea in this formula is pi r squared is the area of a circle. So let's say we take the area of a circle on the bottom, and then we stack it up as many times as it takes to get the height. So we multiply the area of, of a circle times the height, and that gives you the volume. In this case, it would be pi times 4, which is 2 to the second power, times 3, and we get 12 pi whatever cubic feet. Again, I, when I applied this formula, r squared came first. Right rectangular prism, the volume is the easy part to start with, just like the cube. Length times width times height. So let's set those values. Length equals 3, width equals 2, height equals 4. So this L right here is length, and notice in, in the equation it looks a little bit like a 1, but that's in fact an L. So when you see L, W H that means L times W times H and our volume is 3 times 2 times 4 which is well 24 let's say cubic feet surface area again the way they write this formula what you're um, really doing is taking opposite face all the faces and they pair them up like this face with the one on the back and then they add the areas of each of these faces up and there are six faces, hence two, four, six. <coughs> Add all those surfaces together, the faces, and you get the total surface area. So this is one way to do it. Um, so we do, and well, yeah, we'll do it this way. So with two WL, WL is W times L, which means two times six, because it's two times three, plus 2 times length times height. Length times height is 12 plus 2 times width times height. Width is 2, height is 4, so it's 8. So now you have 16 plus 24 plus 12. Add them all up. Well, 24 plus 12 is 36 plus 16 is 52 square feet or whatever we're dealing with. Uh, you might get a right triangular prism. Uh, an easy way to think about the volume, the way they write it here looks a little bit more confusing than it has to be. Um, what I'm going to sketch right here in blue is a rectangular prism, the shape we just dealt with. If you look at the triangular prism here, this right triangular prism, you can tell that it's the volume is exactly half of what a total rectangular prism would be. So I think about the volume of a triangular prism as the length times the width times the height, all of that divided by two, <coughs> which is what they're doing here. They're doing one half times all of that. Multiplying by a half and dividing by two are equal things. So let's keep this the same. Length equals two, width equals three, height equals four. Two times three times four divided by two is our volume, which is 24 divided by two which is 12, let's say, cubic feet. Now the total surface area here, all they're really doing is adding up the values of all the faces. Our only new variable is S for side, which refers to this part right here. 
So our width is 3 and our height is 4 and so a property of right triangles is that this side has to be 5. So <coughs> let's write that in here. S is 5 and now we can just apply these numbers. WH means 3 times 4 or width times height plus 2 times 3 because it's length times width plus 2 times 4 length times height plus 2 times 5. So it's 10 plus 8 plus 6 plus 12. We add these up. 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 8 is 26 plus 10 is 36. So it's 36 square feet. Again, 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 8 is 26 plus 10 is 36. And this, I think, is a basic rundown of the three-dimensional shapes we'll deal with.